Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're reviewing another ON30 locomotive. This time it's the Bachmann Spectrum 14 ton two truck Stearns Heisler. Now this has an optional drop in sound decoder that Tsunami makes. The locomotive MSRPs for $450, sound decoder $129. You can obviously get discounts available off of those prices, but I'm going to show you what you get and how to install the decoder in this starting right now. I'm going to do the unboxing. Simply lift this box off and you have the locomotive inside. Lots of accessories at the bottom too. I'll lift the lid off here. The accessories include extra smokestacks, different types, extra tail lights for the locomotive. You have a realistic coal load, more parts and pieces here. Um, just all kinds of extra stuff here, just crammed in there. <laughs> There's quite a bit of extras that come with it. And an extra different top for the tender as well. So those are the extras. Let's pull out the locomotive and take a look. Now there's like a little secret compartment in the back before I get to the locomotive where you pull up for all the instructions and everything. And what you have is Bachman's DCC equipped manual, one year warranty. Notice about emissions, quick start guide, electronic emissions, not that the, mo the locomotive actually puts out any other emissions. Uh, catalog request, Bachman warranty card, that's all tucked away behind this, and a very cool box too. I like the inside of these boxes a lot, nice little design. All right, let's take a closer look at the locomotive. All right, we're gonna start with the front. This is a short little fella, so easy to fit on my turntable and keep in frame all the time. LED headlights, you got a smoke box door with the number four on it. You have a front platform here, support bracing. Easy made two couplers from Bachman, which are plastic. You've got the pilot here, which is a step pilot. You have on the side smokestack, you've got the dome, bell, whistle, you've got a whistle cord and bell cord there that are going into the cab. You've got the front trucks, all this gear detail in between here and then the rear trucks. Cab, windows open and close. As you can see there, there's a cab vent roof on the roof there, a roof vent that does not move, to my knowledge. Don't want to push too hard, I might break it. You've got back head boiler detail, a little hard to tell from this direction, but you've got a nice coal load here. Now this coal load removes to install the drop-in decoder. Very, very simple installation. I'll show you that right after this. Rear LED light, number four on the back, separately applied grab irons, an easy mate two coupler on the back, another step on the rear here, and you have this nice white wall on the number four and just a crew access walkway up here. So overall, nice locomotive. That's all I'm gonna show you on the details. It's pretty simple and short. Let's show you installation and how easy it is to. the locomotive by applying track power. 
We're going to take the manual that the decoder had and we'll go through the sounds that are listed in that. Check the functions starting with F0. Some of the functions are still on from my last review. So we'll check the bell, F1. Got that nice, really bright, golden white headlight. Good F0 triggers. F2 is the long whistle. F3 short whistle. Long whistle again. F4 steam whistle, or I'm sorry, steam release. We'll check the speed control here. Slow speeds, I just put it in reverse. You hear the reverser click in. Move it one speed step. Taking a look for you, we've got a little lurching. Might be dirty track too. Two speed steps. Just had it cut out on me a little bit earlier, but I think we're good now. Three speed steps. Still a little wobble. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And I usually just go until it smooths out here, so we're going to continue. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16. Still experiencing a shutter. I believe is starting to clear up here at 20, 21 speed steps. So we'll go ahead and move forward now. It gives you a good chance to see the nice golden white LED. One speed step. Definite hesitation, two, three, four, five, six, I'm in here a little bit. You guys don't get a run by because I took some time to install the decoder, so as we approach this grade crossing, we'll do the grade crossing sequence for you at least. So we're up to seven speed steps here. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20, 20. So experiencing shutters that usually clear up by 20, maybe a little higher in the speed step. So that is basically it. You can see the rear light there in that angle. Check coupler height real quick with this KD coupler height gauge. It is dead on on the back. And the front is dead on as well. So good job there. Meeting an MRA standards, which is the same as the KD Coupler height gauge. I'm going to weigh this guy here. Comes in at 12.9 ounces. 370 grams, 0 0.370 kilograms. Just slightly under a pound at 8 tenths of a pound, basically. So there you have the weight. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the review of the Bachman Spectrum ON30 Stearns uh, two-truck Heisler or two-truck Stearns Heisler. Very nice locomotive. 
A uh, few points, the Dynamo probably doesn't, the sound doesn't activate because they don't have them on the Heislers, that's my guess. Um, little kind of uh, vibrations at small speed steps or lower speed steps. As you increase them out past 20, it starts to smooth out. Definitely smoother at high speeds. Other than that, great locomotive and the easy installation of the decoder makes life amazingly easy if you want to install the decoder. So. Great job overall on this locomotive. I think it's nicely done and it appeals to the ON30 crowd quite well. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.